Every thought we think, attitude or belief we hold or decision we make fits into the framework of four different pillars of wellness spiritual, physical, social and mental wellness. Wellness is a demeanor and by its nature it moves us towards a more proactive, responsible and healthy existence. Good health is a dimension of wellness. Exercising and healthy eating habits are necessary in a daily routine. Wellness is a multidimensional state of well-being, a holistic approach to life that encompasses bodily, mental, emotional, environmental, spiritual and community health. This presentation covers various dimensions of wellness. Seven dimensions of wellness include emotional, environmental, intellectual, occupational, physical, spiritual and social well-being. Emotional wellness being emotionally well is more than just handling stress. It also involves being attentive to your thoughts, feelings and behaviors whether positive or negative. Emotional wellness implies the ability to be aware of and accept our feelings rather than deny them. Have an optimistic approach to life and enjoy life despite its occasional disappointments and frustrations. Having the ability to feel and express emotions like happiness, sadness and anger also includes emotional wellness. Emotional wellness also covers managing stress, possessing self-esteem and self-acceptance and appropriately sharing your feelings with others. Skills include seeking and providing support, learning time management skills, practicing stress management skills and accepting and forgiving yourself. The path to emotional wellness involves being aware of thoughts and feelings, using a positive attitude, seeking support and expressing emotions in a suitable manner, setting priorities, accepting mistakes and learning from them. Next is environmental wellness. It includes protecting the earth and its resources and modifying your surroundings to help you achieve a healthy lifestyle. Ideas include conserving water and other natural resources, reducing the use of non-renewable natural resources, reusing and recycling renewable natural resources, minimizing your exposure to chemicals and renewing your relationship with the earth, modifying your environment to remove or minimize barriers, example, rearranging your work area to allow you to be more productive. Intellectual wellness is engaging the individual in creative and stimulating mental activities to expand their knowledge and skills and help them discover the potential for sharing their gifts with others. Intellectual wellness is engaging the individual in creative and stimulating mental activities to expand their knowledge and skills and help them discover the potential for sharing their gifts with others. An intellectually well person cherishes mental growth and stimulation is involved in intellectual and cultural activities, is engaged in the exploration of new ideas and understandings. Reaching Intellectual Wellness Traveling a wellness path allows you to explore issues related to problem solving, creativity and learning as well as spending more time pursuing personal interests including reading books, magazines and newspapers while keeping abreast of current issues and ideas. As you develop your intellectual curiosity, you will actively strive to expand and challenge your mind with creative endeavors. Intellectually well people are also curious and interested in the communities as well as the world around them. Let's take a quick look on how far we are intellectually sound by answering questions like Am I open to new ideas? Do I seek personal growth by learning new skills? Do I search for lifelong learning opportunities and stimulating mental activities? Do I look for ways to use creativity? If you answered no to any of the questions, it may indicate an area where you need to improve the state of your intellectual wellness. Strive to improve your intellect and your creative spark by taking up a course or workshop, learning a foreign language, reading for personal enjoyment and seeking out people who challenge you intellectually. Next comes occupational wellness. 
Occupational wellness is the ability to achieve a balance between work and leisure time. Addressing workplace stress and building relationships with co-workers. It focuses on a search for a calling and involves exploring various career options and finding because what we do for a living encompasses so much of our time it's important for our overall well-being to do what we love and love what we do when people are doing what they were meant to do they deepen their sense of meaning and purpose the path to occupational wellness the occupational dimension of wellness recognizes personal satisfaction and enrichment in one's life through work. At the center of occupational wellness is the premise that occupational development is related to one's attitude about one's work. Traveling a path toward your occupational wellness, you'll contribute your unique gifts, skills and talents to work that are both personally meaningful and rewarding. You'll convey your values and through your involvement in activities that are gratifying for you. The choice of profession, job satisfaction, career ambitions and personal performance are all important components of your path's terrain. Physical wellness encompasses a variety of healthy behaviors including adequate exercise, proper nutrition, abstaining from harmful behaviors like drug use and alcohol abuse. Spiritual wellness is a personal matter involving values and beliefs that provide a purpose in our lives. While different individuals may have different views of what spiritualism is, it is generally considered to be the search for meaning and purpose in human existence, leading one to strive for a state of harmony with oneself and others while working to balance inner needs with the rest of the world. The National Wellness Institute says spiritual wellness follows the following tenets. It is better to ponder the meaning of life for ourselves and to be tolerant of our beliefs of others than to close our minds and become intolerant. It is better to live each day in a way that is consistent with our values and beliefs than to do otherwise and feel untrue to ourselves. Increase your spiritual well-being by exploring your spiritual core, being inquisitive and curious. Listen to your heart and follow your principles. Allow yourself and others around you the freedom to be who they are. The path to spiritual wellness may involve meditation, prayer, affirmations or specific spiritual practices that support your connection to a higher power or, or belief system. Yoga and meditation can also help you develop spiritual wellness. Having compassion, the capacity for love and forgiveness, altruism, joy and fulfillment help you enjoy your spiritual health. Your religious faith, values, beliefs, principles and morals define your spirituality. If you are a person engaged in the process of spiritual wellness, you are willing and able to transcend yourself in order to question the meaning and purpose in your life and the lives of others. In addition, you seek to find harmony between that which lies within and the social and the physical forces that come from outside. Social Wellness Receiving and giving support to family and friends, enhancing diversity and becoming active in issues that you care about is all that includes social wellness. Ideas in social wellness include interacting with people of other cultures, backgrounds and beliefs, cultivating healthy relationships, sharing your talents and skills, contributing to your community, communicating your thoughts, ideas and feelings. The five different components of physical fitness are cardiovascular endurance, muscle strength, muscle endurance, flexibility and body composition. Cardiovascular endurance refers to the ability of your heart and lungs to work together to fuel your body with oxygen. Aerobic conditioning like jogging, swimming and cycling can help improve cardiovascular endurance. Muscle strength and endurance refers to the amount of force a muscle can exert in a single effort. 
Muscular strength building covers everything from the ability to carry heavy objects to simply being able to sit up on your own. It determines the amount of force that your muscles can exert before becoming damaged. In the world of fitness, muscle strength is often correlated with muscle mass. Flexibility refers to the ability of each joint to express its full range of motion. Can you touch your toes without bent knees? Do a spilt. Raise your arms over your head. The efficiency and mobility of our joint has a huge effect on our daily lives. Flexibility refers to the ability of each joint to express its full range of motion. Can you touch your toes without bent knees? Do a spilt. Raise your arms over your head. The efficiency and mobility of our joints has a huge effect on our daily lives. Simple flexibility can improve our balance, posture and basic mobility. If you want to run or deadlift then you better be able to get your limbs into the proper stances. Body composition refers to the amount of body fat you have versus the amount of lean muscles, bones and organs. This was a small presentation on various dimensions of wellness and its health related components. In the next presentation we will discuss about how to stay more fit and healthy by learning about stress management skills. Thank you.